Sometimes you can just be staring at your screen without inspiration in Minecraft. If you are bored at home and are looking for a project or three, I'm going to give you 18 things that you can do in Minecraft. Don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and welcome to another episode from me, Amamance. Now today, I'm asking you the question, are you sat there bored at home, wondering what to do in your Minecraft world, but you've not got any inspiration? I completely get it. You can have done all kinds of things, fighting the Ender Dragon, shooting down the Wither, whatever else, building massive towers, but sometimes you just don't know what to do. So I'm going to give you 18 challenges that you can do in your Minecraft world and we're going to go through them one at a time. If on the journey through this video you like what you see and you have not yet subscribed please do hit that subscribe button it really helps out the channel and the like button as well whether you're subscribed or not it could really help me out thank you very much for that. Let's crack on with number one. Number one, spawn into a brand new world and without looking at the seed map or anything like that point yourself in the northerly direction like I have and just walk for a hundred thousand blocks. While doing that, you can count how many different biomes you've walked through and how many times you have to get yourself a boat and cross an ocean. And if you really want a challenge, maybe try and do it in the new nether for 116, 100,000 blocks in survival. That, my friends, is going to be a lot trickier because everything up here wants to eat your face, including the lava. Maybe you want to do something quite basic, like build a little starter house. And then, as an extra challenge, you could try building the exact same house upside down. Slight variations, lanterns can't be hung upside down, but everything else I think is pretty close. And for yet another challenge, why not try doing it at the bottom of the sea? You're probably going to need to get yourself a conduit to be able to do that. But that means lots of fishing and dead dolphins. If you want a really big challenge, you could try and get every placeable block in Minecraft in survival. This is not an easy task. You are going to need silk touch. You are going to need loads of resources. You are going to need so much time. You're going to need to go to the nether and the end. You're going to need to kill the ender dragon. It is a massive undertaking. Are you up for the challenge? Maybe you just love playing Minecraft, so why not go onto a survival server and play with your friends? One of the best ones out there is the Aververse, and you can join the Aververse by going to the Discord. The link is in the description below. Everything is there for you that you could possibly want, as well as a number of different servers, including Quarrycraft, which is completely free to play with no whitelist. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to get involved with something where the portal just to get to it is this cool? If you fancy trying something different, Skyblock is absolutely brilliant. Come onto a Skyblock island, loads of servers out there that can help you do that. Get very little resources and turn this fella into something amazing.
Maybe you don't want to go and play on someone else's server. Maybe you want to take this time to create your own server so you can play either with friends or even turn it into a little business. Apex Hosting is a great choice for that and there is a link in the description below that will take you through to Apex. They've got server locations all over the place which means that your latency and your connection is always going to be the best it can possibly be. Loads of different types of Minecraft servers here. Free to beast, standard vanilla Minecraft, they've got bucket, they've got paper. You can create yourself a skyblock, you can create yourself an MMO. It is a really good choice. All of my personal servers are hosted on Apex, including my no whitelist server, Quarrycraft, and my patron server, Avatopia. I really recommend the quality of this service provider. Another really fun challenge you can give yourself in Minecraft is start a brand new world and get all of the achievements, which is completely crazy and up in your game score. Some of these are easy, starting with inventory, where you just have to open your inventory, getting wood, where you just have to get a log from the ground that you've knocked out, benchmarking, making your crafting bench, but some of them get a little bit harder. Catch and cook a fish, well, you've got to get yourself a fishing rod for that. Monster hunter, if you've not got any weapons, you can't do that. Flying pig, use a saddle to ride a pig and then have the pig get hurt from full damage while riding it. You've got to ride it off a cliff, those poor fellas. Some of these are a lot harder than they look. This one is another really fun challenge. Get yourself down to level 11. Look there, I'm looking at block 11. Get yourself a five by five square on your zero, zero. You can see there, X equals zero, Z equals zero. And you've got four tunnels going off in every direction. What you're gonna do with an inventory that looks similar to this, a load of torches, a load of shulker boxes, plenty of food, a crafting table, and a god ax with mending on it, you are gonna dig out in one of these directions for 5,000 blocks, and you're gonna see what you can get from each direction and put it in these chests. You're not allowed to go up or down other than the three that you've got, unless you see an ore that allows you to dig up. So let's just demonstrate. I've got an efficiency five, fortune three, blah, blah, pit. You see, we're just going and going and going and going. And every 10 blocks, at least forgot to count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. You put yourself a torch down on that left-hand side. That makes sure that you don't get any nasty spawning in. And you just keep going until you get some ores. <laughs> Like this one, for example. So now you can dig sideways, or it might be upwards, or it might even be downwards. For as far as the ores take, you can see here, it's actually given us another load of ores with the lapis, so that is allowed. And you keep going, and you collect the XP, which sorts out your mending pick, until you've got all of those ores, and then you have to come back. Shove yourself a torch in there, so as you don't end up getting any nasties. And then carry on until you get to 5,000 in this direction. With the Northern Tunnel, those two double chests were wholly insufficient. We have got a whole chest worth of cobble there. Almost a whole double chest worth of cobble there, just with one full load of flint. You'll see where the rest of flints are at the minute. We've got all of these riches, 46 blocks of diamonds plus 18, three emeralds. We must have gone through a uh, mountains biome there. All of this lapis, all of this redstone, all of this coal, all of this iron, all of these ores, some diorite, bleh. We've got some andesite, some granite, bleh. and also dirt and the rest of the flint. That's just in one direction. What would you get with all four? You could make an entire map pixel art across the landscape. This map is just all white as a result of this single layer, and it's just a single layer of white wall. Then make yourself a bit of a pixel art on it. Well, that's the pixel art bit done. Let's see what it looks like in a picture frame. And the moment of truth. Ah, well, maybe the less said about that particular one, the better. If you don't know already, maybe learn how to use world edit and make big changes to the world that you're playing in. And as a result, make it look so much more lifelike and realistic. I did a little tutorial mini series on how to install world edit. The link is in the description below. It will take you to, amongst other things, this page where you can get everything you need.
Now you've got these newfound world edit skills, why not use those to create yourself a much larger structure with lots of repeating areas that you can use the copy paste function of world edit to do. You can make all kinds of shapes, not just landscapes, buildings, castles, forts, and you can manipulate those shapes to make sure that they're in exactly the right positions for you. You can even add extra detail like custom trees. You could spend time collecting up all the different colours of wool, lots of different coloured concrete and plenty of terracotta to make yourself a giant avatar of your character in Minecraft or maybe someone else's character. You could even put them in a funny position like this fella holding up this giant jungle island. This one's maybe not so difficult but it will really take a lot of time and a lot of patience. Dig yourself a hole, just one chunk at a time. You can turn the chunks on in Java at least with Shift F3 and G and dig all the way down to bedrock and then do another chunk and then do another chunk and then do another chunk and see how far you can go until your brain explodes. If you want a massive challenge, why not create a zoo with every single mob in the game? Well, maybe not the ender dragon. You can create much bigger compounds than this and build up something that looks absolutely fantastic. Be careful, however, make sure you name tag these fellas because a lot of these will despawn the second you walk away. And also, getting those mobs into those compounds isn't as easy as you think. And the final challenge I'm gonna give you is start your own Minecraft YouTube channel. Not for money, but for fun. There is nothing more rewarding than creating your own content on the game that you love. And I have had so much joy over the last number of years in creating some of these videos for you guys, and I hope that you've enjoyed them too. If you wanna do that, I've put links to a few tools in the description below that could help you, things like TubeBuddy and something to make your thumbnails for free, that kind of thing. And if it's something you really enjoy doing, maybe why don't you make videos on the other challenges that I've suggested in this video. How many of these challenges do you think you can complete before your boredom is completely gone? I'll tell you what, there's a million challenges. This is just 18 of them, but I'd really like to know which ones you've managed to do. So in the comments below, please do let me know by putting the hashtag challenge and let me know which ones you've completed. Maybe even send me a tweet with the picture of one of the challenges as you're doing it. That would be absolutely amazing. You can tweet that to at Avo Minecraft. If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you enjoyed them and I will keep on making them. Also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.